let's take a look at some of the audio warp capabilities found in Cubase. Audio warp allows the tempo of the project to be changed after it's been recorded. While this has always been simple for MIDI tracks, it has been always difficult for audio tracks. Now we don't have this problem with the audio warp functionality found in Cubase. Tracks can have two different types of time bases. One is linear or musical. So if I wanted to come over here, I could toggle the tracks right here. Now if a track is in musical time base, this will allow you to, as the tempo is changed, the positioning of the track will change with tempo changes. If it is set to linear time base, the track will stay in the same time regardless of what the tempo is. So the tempo foundation for linear time base is based on position, whereas the actual musical time base is based on bar and beat. Now, one of the great things with Cubase that a lot of people don't realize is as you record audio, it will automatically be tempo stamped. Meaning, if we see that the tempo of this project is 100 beats a minute, when I come over here, let's record. And record a short segment. Now, if I go to my audio pool, I could actually see that we'll see our record test file. So, when we come right over here we'll see record test and that it's automatically will be labeled there. Now, one of the things that you want to do is to make sure that when you go to your view attributes that you see musical mode as well as tempo activated. Now, if you see right here, we see record test 02 that the tempo was automatically set to 100 beats a minute. If I wanted to come here, now I could also place this into musical mode. Now, if I've gotten tracks from another source, I could actually just simply select all the tracks in my project, hold down my shift key, select the top or in the bottom. I could type in the origin tempo and then also select musical mode here. And once I change those settings for one, I can just simply change it for all the files. So now that I'm in, all my tracks are set to musical mode, I have the origin tempo defined. I can now come right over here and with my tempo track, as it's playing, if I wanted this song to be faster or slower, I could just simply hit play. And I could just grab on my tools and say I want it to be faster. Now all the tracks will speed up and slow down without changing the pitch. So I can come over here. So if I wanted to ramp up, I'd do an accelerando slow down afterwards so all of my tracks will now follow my master tempo track here so that they'll speed up and slow down so if I've recorded a song that I want to speed up the chorus or I want to slow down the verse or speed it up during the bridge, it's no problem with the audio warp features found in Cubase.